Hey GED students, it's GED question of the daytime and we're looking at a pretty typical data analysis style question. Word problem, graph, which could show up on your science, social studies, or math. Let's take a look. It says the histogram shows the frequency of petal lengths of irises in one study. Oh, and I'm still mad at myself for not making iris plural correctly. There we go, irises in one study. About how many times more flowers had petal lengths between one and two centimeters than had petal lengths between two and three centimeters? Okay, so I'm doing a comparison problem about how many times more flowers, okay, um, and what am I comparing here? They want me to compare the flowers that had petal lengths between one and two centimeters, so between one, and two centimeters are all the flowers in there uh, with the ones that had petal lengths between two and three centimeters. So between two and three centimeters are all the petals in that category, two to three centimeter petal length. And I'm really sorry if this black writing down here is hard to read, but this does say two and this does say three, and this is labeled petal length in centimeters. Okay, so looking at that, I'm comparing how many times more that is than that is. So, well, let's take a look and figure out how many this is, first of all. Looks like this line here, I'd say, is about 24, whereas this line, I'm looking at about 19. So, let's see, 19 plus 24, that's 43, about 43 flowers in that category. Okay, now let's look at the next category then. Uh, between two and three. Oh, I don't know. That looks like about, is that three or is that four? If you don't have a straight line, it's going to be hard to tell. I'm going to call it three. Uh, whereas that one might be about two. I don't know. Uh, I suppose we could, we might be able to have a fight that that's only one. I'm, you know what, I'm going to call this one four and this one two. I'm thinking that's four and that's two. My lines aren't super straight. Yeah. So we're looking at about six here. Now, the good news is even though we're kind of fighting about this, um, I'm fighting with myself. It does say about how many times more flowers. So the good news is I don't have to be that super accurate. <laughs> I'm doing an approximation. So, okay, let's see. Um, I'm saying then that 43 is about how many times more than 6? Six? 6 times about what? Well, um, you know, 6 doesn't go perfectly into 43, but we can approximate. It's about 7 times more. It's certainly more than half as many, 2 times as many, or 4 times as many. So that's as close as I got here. So um, even if my numbers are a little off, it's got to be D, 7 times more. Uh, now, if you thought that this was a tricky, niggly problem with uh, just too many details to keep track of, you're kind of right. I, I made it tricky on purpose. There was approximating going on. We're not even sure if our numbers are totally right. Um, this concept of how many times often messes with students because they don't want to do how many times more. They want to do how many more. But I did say how many times more. So I'm asking six times what is equal to that bigger number. Okay. If you have any questions about this or any other GED topic, be sure to drop it in the comments and I'll do my best to answer it.